2.30 p.m. Tuesday and the Snowy Hydro helicopter team responds to another medical emergency. They launch from Canberra and cover all of the ACT and most of southern New South Wales. The value of a helicopter as a resource, you, you, it's hard to put a value on, on people's life. And you know, we, we've since 1998, we've made 4,300 missions. Uh, you know, we average two a day. They do a job that I don't think that I could ever do. It's, um, it's kudos to them to be able to uh, approach an accident or someone injured on, a, on the side of a mountain or whatever and do what they need to do. Here they talk about the golden hour, that critical window of time to get a patient to care. We can access our patients, we can provide them with timely treatment on scene uh, and then we can, with the use of the aircraft, get them back to the hospital in a much quicker time frame. People that have had a major motor vehicle accident or have been lost and found and we're on a search and rescue mission and to get them back into, into hospital care as soon as possible. The advantage you also get with this, this equipment is there is a doctor on board so that the treatment starts as soon as from the doctors as soon as we arrive on the scene. The job description has changed a lot for Dr Greg Collis and paramedic Ian Crosley since the chopper first took off in 1998. They see firsthand the difference it makes. One of the things I really like about this uh, job is the, um, the teamwork involved, uh, the paramedic doctor and the aviation crew, uh, as well as all of those that we uh, meet at the scene or at the referring hospital, and making all that teamwork work together to the benefit of the patient. It might save lives, but it also costs money, lots of money, up to $4,000 an hour fully crewed, the service relies on a combination of government funding, corporate sponsorship and community donations to keep the chopper in the air. It was an easy decision, do we help? Yes, we should. Uh, but the uh, overall cost of the sponsorship was $50,000. So the first thing I thought of uh, was, well, OK, well, I can't do this on my own, but great, this is a fantastic project that all of the community banks within this region can actually get into and, uh, and, and, and contribute towards. Community bank branches around the area were quick to get on board. Today they're getting a close-up look at just what their support provides. So what we've got here is in the, in the back sits the, uh, on this side, the, the paramedic. So he's the one that'll go in a, a, on a winch mission, he'll get winched down. We look at it as more our community being part of the wider community. That we're quite happy to have our funds go towards funding the helicopter to service what's, what's mostly uh, communities that are around ours. One of those people is Mick Andrews from Pallarang Financial Services. He already has a special connection to this service. In 2002, it saved his life. Uh, I was uh, in a head-on car accident on the Kings Highway and um, the, uh, the helicopter picked me up and, and took me into Canberra Hospital. Um, uh, it was uh, the June long weekend, um, four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, basically it saved my life. I had myself and uh, three kids in the car. Um, the, um, I had severe head injuries. Now they all have a special connection. The support of a, a local bank that's in our region and in the same footprint that we are is fantastic. Where would we be without these guys, you know? Um, over 4,300 well, 4, 4, missions in, in 11 years, that's, that's pretty damn good, you know. 24, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. You, know, you, you can't pay for that, you know, and that's what that's what we're here for.